Peggy 18. Hey guys, I'm Bruce Straley, Game Director of The Last of Us. And here are some top tips for surviving. Number one, use a brick. When you're out of a melee implements, you haven't modded a weapon, you're down to your fist and some guys are coming at you, if you can find a brick in the environment, it's a really quick upgrade, dynamic upgrade. You can just find one, three hits over the top of the head, takes a guy out. Good tip. <laughs> tip number two, dynamic stealth. Don't feel like you have to stay in combat. Once you agitate the AI, if you start shooting, if they're coming at you, you feel a little overwhelmed, hit the L2 button and it sprint away. They're less accurate when you're sprinting either perpendicular or away from them for a small amount of time. This will give you the opportunity to get away unscathed. Then use the environment. The environments are big enough so that you can get behind a bookshelf, drop behind a wall, use crouch. What's going to happen is they're going to spread out and try to find you. If they lose you, you stay hidden and move around quietly using crouch. They're going to search that last known location and then spread out. Once they start spreading out, pick them off one by one. Don't feel like you have to stay in combat the whole time. Tip number three, upgrade your shivs. In your supplements, you find herbs and you find, find pills in the environment and apply them to the shivs. Become shiv master. When a clicker attacks you, that's stage two of the infection, deadly. Use that shiv and you have a small window of opportunity to jab it in the neck and that's going to like throw them off of you. Upgrade it to the second level and you can actually kill them with that shiv. It's a really great way of surviving the infected. <laughs> Tip number four, once you're in Pittsburgh, look for Ellie jokes. So if you linger around certain environments like the freeway approach to the checkpoint, uh, the bookstore or the flooded street, Linger around a little bit and explore and you'll have some really fun times with Ellie. She's going to give some dynamic dialogue that only happens if you hang out. Good tip. Shit, you're going to go in there? I want to see what we can find. You're going to find my body when I die from a heart attack. Don't worry. Tip number five. Each class of enemy is going to have a different style of gameplay that you're going to need strategy for. Humans are going to coordinate a little bit more and fan out in the environment. They're going to react differently whether you expose your gun to them run out of bullets, or have ammo and start shooting at them. The way to suppress them is if you have a gunshot, if you can shoot, then they're going to like push into cover and you'll have a little bit more time on your hands. You see Runners. Runners attack in packs. Don't stay stationary. Use your sprint button. When runners are coming at you, they're going to come at you all at once. Once you're downed, use the L2 button to break out of that. Joel will throw some bows and get out, but you don't want to be down for too long because they keep attacking while you're there. Clickers, don't even touch them unless you've upgraded your shiv. Once they touch you, you're out. <laughs> Tip number six. When you find a brick, you're out of ammo, or even if you do have ammo, it's really to your advantage to throw the brick at them. Don't use L1 to throw quickly. When you see the reticle, it's going to snap on. It's like a, a lock-on targeting for throwing. Once you pick up a brick, if you see that reticle change from like a, a broken hash to a full circle, that means you're locked on. Hit R1, you'll chuck the brick quickly like a baseball throw and stun the guy. He'll be out for like a few seconds. In that few seconds, you have an opportunity. It's your choice. Run away, he won't know where you ran to because he's stunned, or rush in for a big attack. You can also, when an enemy's stunned like that, hit triangle, it grabs him. Once you grab him, you can use him as a human shield like a hostage, or you can take him down quickly. Smoke bombs. They're a really good offensive and defensive weapon. It doesn't seem like this really like big, heavy weapon to use. Oh, it's a smoke bomb. But it's really to your advantage because when you're getting overwhelmed, you throw a smoke bomb, the enemies won't shoot through something that they can't see. So it uses, it's like quick cover, essentially. Now you can run away from it or you can run into it. If you throw a smoke bomb at guys, they get stunned, instant stun when they're the concussive burst that blows up the smoke bomb stuns all the guys, rush inside, hit triangle, square quickly, and you do a combo attack where you grab and slam them on the ground and take them out really quickly. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, fuck. Bombs are a great weapon that you can use to defend an area. What you do though is you defend the area using R1 and you throw a brick or a bottle to lure a guy into that space. He'll walk through that door threshold or through that window where you've placed the bomb strategically and then take them out. Stay alive, that's the trick.
can't be for nothing. 